Precious metals are a popular investment, but police are saying buyer beware after an American fork man recently discovered that all that glitters is not gold. According to a police report, 47-year-old Sean Goulding of Midvale sold the victim 10 one-ounce bars like these for $1,000 apiece. The discount price should have been the first red flag since gold is currently trading at over $1,557 an ounce. The victim told police they looked real in seemingly legitimate packaging, but when he tried to resell them, he discovered they were fake and basically worthless. Chris Wright, the senior vice president of Cascade Refining in West Valley City, says he sees it all the time. You can see people's reactions in their face just kind of drop. Wright says Chinese companies sell realistic looking novelty replicas online. I found these for sale at less than $2 a piece. Wright tells me they're just brass plated with gold. It's usually a very thin coating of, of pure gold, um, so thin that it doesn't need, it's not even pennies worth really. Um, and they do that just to pass it off and to give it that gold shine and that gold luster and color. Wright and his employees test every piece that comes through the door for exact weight and density. Is it magnetic is another great tool. If it's magnetic, it's not gold. You can see this is a good strong rare earth magnet we use all the time for our testing purposes, and it does not stick or pull that up. He also says stay away from this item, which he calls a gas station ring. It's typically sold there by someone who claims they need money for gas, and it's stamped 18 carat, but it's fuels gold and worth nothing. As for Mr. Golding, American Fork Police had the victim set up another buy where they arrested him and booked him into the Utah County Jail. Wright says these crimes give the precious metals industry a black eye, but it's easy to get taken. We've done it on occasion. Even the pros get hurt once in a while, you know. There's a lot of really convincing stuff out there. Um, and the unfortunate thing is that hurts everybody. Now, last fall, Golding was charged with forgery and theft by deception after police say he sold a fake gold bar to a jewelry store employee in Salt Lake City.